Welcome back to the KOM Morning News. Our good friend Charlene Patton back down from the Kansas Soybean Commission in Topeka. Great to have you here. Well, last month we had some great family night snacks, which are perfect with the weather we have been having. <laughs> and now it's the season of love. It and we've is. got a kind of a love type dessert here. <laughs> We're getting a head start here on Valentine's Day doing delectable desserts, but it's also big for family fun month. Okay. So it's a great time to get kids in the kitchen and let them help you. And you know, we have a recipe here that there's something for every age group. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, I've already put a cup of brown sugar in here and make sure that when you are doing brown sugar and measuring it, teach your kids that they need to pack it because it needs to, when it comes out of the measuring cup, needs to have the shape of the measuring cup. You'll okay. know that you've done it right. And you can see here that I've done that. And then I started to break it up just a little bit. So you're gonna add three eggs to this. All right, three yeah. eggs. Uh -huh. Three eggs that right. I'm gonna start mixing. And then you also have some vanilla there. Yeah, All great. All right, some vanilla and uh, some cinnamon and a little bit of salt. Cinnamon and <laughs> salt. You will love this recipe. If you've ever had bread pudding, um, this is a special one and it will be one of the, your keepers that you wanna keep. Okay. So now we have one and a half cups of heavy cream. All Does that right. tell you why this is a great yes, recipe? Yes, it does, okay. <laughs> and it's add a nice. lot of richness to it. There we go, mix that up. And then the other one we're going to add is one and a half cups of vanilla soy milk. Okay. I'll kind of tip that up a little bit. Mix that up. So, oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful filling here. And so easy to make. And you yeah. see I'm using a whisk. Okay, the next step is we're going to add seven cups of cubes of bread. And you okay. can use a French bread is what we've used. And... I was going to bring the label to this to show oh. you, but when you get bread from the bakery, then you are actually having a soy ingredient. Most of the bakeries put soy flour okay. in their bread. So look at the label. We're just going to stir this. And then the, for this particular recipe, I think this is kind of a little unusual, but I love this step because we're going to let this set for an hour. And that okay. is going to let all those cubes of bread absorb all that wonderful flavor. Oh, okay, there. I got gotcha. you. A lot of times it goes right into the oven, but let that set. And then you'll see here we're going to add this right before baking. And this is roasted pecans. And I okay. put them in the oven for about 10 minutes and then just shake the pan a little bit so that they will roast. And then we'll pour that mixture into our baking dish. So grease it, and then it's gonna bake for about th uh, 50 to 60 minutes. Use a knife and make sure it comes out clean. Okay. All right, then the next step is to make a praline sauce. Okay. And this is wonderful. Now you have one right there that I, I cut do. for you. And I like serving it with just a little bit more of the whipped cream and a little bit of strawberries. But look at this wonderful sauce that we're gonna pour over that for you. Okay. There you go. So you can taste it. All and right. the praline sauce has the kind of the same ingredients. It has brown sugar in it. It has the margarine. It has whipping cream and a little bit of vanilla mm -hmm. of the soy milk. Ooh, and this is so soft. And yeah. Oh, wow. This is like perfect. <laughs> it will make a serving for nine. But then to make it festive, as we've done here in our display, is we've added the whipping cream and the strawberries. Oh, and I didn't want to forget to mention, we've got a candle here. I put a candle there, and you can see there that it has a soy blend. And when you can find soy in your candles, they will burn longer and they will have less smoke. So, okay. well, soy I, all the way around. Right, it works in a hundred <laughs> different ways that you probably didn't even know until today. That's right. I'm, hey, I, we've been doing this for a while and I keep learning new things each time Charlene comes down. So if folks want this recipe or any of the others, where do they need to go? Go to KansasSoybeans.org or call our 800 number 877-KS-Soybean. 
And of course, you'll find this delicious recipe and so many others as well on our website, koamnewsnow.com. Charlie, thanks so much for coming in. We're going to finish up this cake and we'll be back with more of the KOAM Morning News right after this.